Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to Sheltered 2, perfect start for the full game, episode 4. Okay, here we are, back in the shelter. Uh, let's go and harvest that trap. There is a rat, uh, a rat, a rabbit caught. Uh, so let's have a look at our pantry. We've not got a lot at the moment. We've got 31 meals. Uh, we have two pantries, of course, uh, one with rations and one with our cans of food. Uh, another note to mention, you can rename them if you wish. Uh, so you can give, as an example, cooked food, raw food, uh, ingredients. You can add more pantries and give them different names. Okay, so we've got three pieces of meat from that rabbit. That's good. That's three more meals as we are in the early game. Now we want to add a second planter because we want to be able to grow as much as we possibly can. Okay. Again, a lot of this is your character maintenance. Uh, in the early game, especially as you move from spring to summer, your biggest concern is water. Uh, so we'll get that meat cooked up so it's ready to be eaten. Uh, and in fact, we're gonna need to send George to go and have some food in the not too distant future as well. Uh, it's not a problem. We do have still lots of cans of food for now, so that's fine, we can send him to eat. And we're at 83 out of 140 max water. Uh, so we've got rain coming up tomorrow, so hopefully we'll be able to top up our water supply. Uh, but as we move into the summer, we need to make sure we've got as much water as possible so that we don't have a horrific time of... So what I'll do now is I will explain to you the minimum water consumption technique. Okay, so if it all goes bad and you are very low on water, the only thing that they need to be able to do is drink water and eat food and sleep. How would you do that? You would craft a sink at the drafting table and you would equip it with soap. By doing that, you would allow people to be able to wash their hands and eat and drink water and they can get as dirty as you want. Okay, so you would be able to forget about hygiene, forget about toilet, just let them toilet themselves and then clean the shelter. The water from the sink goes back into the purifier so you get that back so they clean their hands without uh, using the water in effect. We've just caught another rabbit up the top there as well. Now this is our leadership traits. At the moment he's a clean freak and influential and he's got weak arms and we can't get additional skill points until we find floppy disks out in the wastelands when we're exploring. Uh, there's a little conversation there going on okay and again some of the things we'll want to be doing is upgrading uh, the beds as quickly as possible as well and uh, get someone he needs to drink some water so that's been deconstructed we can now start thinking about building a second bed George is our constructor oh he's in the way at the moment so let's do that again there we go and place in the second higher quality bed so he's going to have a drink of water and then he's going to go and craft that bed. Other stuff that we will be needing needing to craft as we go forwards, there's a few different bits and pieces, um, but over the next half hour of this video, uh, we will get your early game sorted. And the thing is, you can go from here and not watch the series if uh, you want stuff to remain uh, down to your choices, you know, potential uh, good decisions, mistakes, uh, frustration everything else or continue watching the series uh, for all of those tips and hints that you need to progress well in the game okay so looking at the craft object lists uh, there's a door to create a new floor bookcase that's good for uh, increasing your intelligence uh, charisma and perception stats uh, recycling again is always good and one of the other early game items that we want to build uh, is the recycler so we want to get enough components uh, to recycle with the recycler because the amount of components you get in comparison to recycling at the workbench is massively higher. But off you go, George, go and recycle for us uh, and get that stuff sorted. Uh, we need to go and water the plant. That little icon flashing above means it's gone dry and might as well harvest the uh, trap afterwards as well. So he's doing nothing. Let's get him to go and harvest the trap. So our vaulted leader okay catch is currently asleep let's speed up time a little bit uh, three more pieces of meat very good and later on once we've unlocked the camping stove um, and the ability to grow potatoes the next thing is a tier two dish that is a lifesaver and it's a meat stew so you use a piece of meat a piece of broccoli and a potato turn that into a meat stew and it gives 50 sustenance uh, and as a dish it's 
fairly easy to make. We're going to be able to go and hunt to get meat. We're going to be able to grow potatoes and broccoli and combine those ingredients to make a very satisfying meal for our shelter residents. Might as well, oh no, 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 that's, oh well, too late. She's going to craft the bed, it's going to have a much lower uh, integrity than uh, it should have. We should have got George to do that, so mental note, I've sent Katya to build the uh, bed. Her intelligence isn't as high as uh, George's, I don't think, or it might be. Um, but you always use the drafting table, right click craft objects, flick through your residence and see who has the chance of crafting the highest integrity item and always use that person. Okay, so that bed is now constructed and we've got one, two, three, four, five pieces of meat there. So that's five meals, that's good. Those traps outside, again, very important early game for that meat. Um, it's an early food source. And of course, just cooking the meat on its own is great. Uh, doesn't require you know anything else and it's a good amount of sustenance. Broccoli soup is another one, but of course it requires water in its uh, creation. And that uh, in the early game is a bit more difficult because of course, as we approach summer and water becomes a rarity, uh, we need to be careful. Okay, I think it's probably time to set up an expedition. So let's get uh, Alistair and Katia next. Okay, so again, we want to go to equipment and we're gonna fit them both with uh, knuckle dusters because they can't really do much else at the moment. We've got a bag there and we've got another bag there. It's about to fall apart, but that's fine. We've got a maximum weight capacity now of 185. So we can pick up quite a few things. Uh, what we want to do is take stuff with us that we can trade. Uh, so let's have a look, what have we got? Anything worth trading? Uh, we can take some radiation tablets. We've got lots of them. We're not really going to... Uh, we know how to avoid radiation poisoning. So that's if there's black rain outside, you stay indoors. Uh, you don't go outside. We'll take a medikit and maybe some yeah bandages as well. There we go, just in case we're going to hit a combat situation. And now what we want to do is go and explore places that we haven't been to yet. So this recycling center, that's a potential place to visit. Uh, over there we've got the uh, reservoir, which is a workable location, and the reservoir tank, which we've already visited. Now scrapyard, that is worthwhile. Okay, so now we need to decide on the route. There we go, just a short little trip out. And then next, we're only going to use seven rations for that. Perfect. And hopefully we'll pick up some good stuff while we're there. So off they trot and let's skip forwards a little bit. Okay, so George there uh, collapsed because uh, he didn't go to sleep. So that's fine, we skip past that. We've got all the stuff now from the uh, expedition that we've brought back. Uh, so get that all recycled. Uh, no, sorry, they're still out on the expedition. This is the stuff we already had to recycle. Okay, they've had an encounter with the Black Roses at the location. Okay, so this is our first encounter with the faction. Uh, so we can go through some various things. So who are you? So the Black Roses, strictly non-male group. We're extremely well practiced in ranged combat. You'll find it hard to make it close to us without gaining a new hole in your head. Work together. Looking for trade and alliance, your group will have to contact our leader by radio. You'll have to earn her trust if you want your free passage through these lands. Okay, so we can now walk away. We now need to cancel our route, so change route. So delete waypoint, click on the location again and search, and then go back for the route that you were doing before. And there we go, and confirm. So we need four rations, but we've only got three. So the end part of their journey, their stats are gonna go up quite significantly, but it's a short distance, so it's not too bad. Okay, inside the shelter, we've got uh, the stuff going on. Let's skip forwards a little bit. Okay, so they're growing, they're nearly, okay. We've got some items, so we've searched the location now. Oh, nice. So they are um, tools which are gonna help our crafting. Uh, we've got books as well, so we'll take all those. A sensor, definitely take that. Now uh, there's a tire there. Now that is for a vehicle, so we haven't got a garage yet, but we'll take the tire. Uh, yep, chains. Trade value of 14, worth taking. Uh, the three-star bucket, definitely. The clothes, definitely. Uh, beginner sleuthing, yes. Three-star leather, two-star metal, all worth taking. Uh, the nuts and bolts, definitely. 
keep having a look around. Oh, the three star wood, yep. Later, later in the game, sand is going to become a big priority, um, but at the moment it's not. Um, so it's a case of taking all the lower weight items and then moving to the heavier weight items. So as you can see, we're at 94 now out of 185. Keep taking stuff that can be recycled, stuff that you think you need. Um, and again, it's, it's hit and miss. You, you may want to take stuff that I leave behind, as an example. Completely all right, your choice. Um, so we'll take, we're up to 135 out of 185, 145. We're nearly there at max weight. I think we'll leave it there, confirm. So we'll leave the mineral ore and the sand, uh, not the sand, the coal behind, and let them carry on on their journey. So they've got one more place to search, and that's the caravan, so that's fine. Again, just looking around at what we've uncovered, we've uh, uncovered the HQ there of a faction. Now that's extremely rare to get an HQ so early in the game, uh, but we'll explore that situation a little later on. In fact, much later on in the series. Right, we're harvesting another rabbit, so we've got another three meat. Okay, we've now got no trap, so we want to uh, potentially we all need to craft another but we also need water storage water storage water storage so we've got enough now for another water barrel so let's get it in it's going to increase our water capacity by 50 it's raining at the moment so now our water storage capacity should be 190 uh, that is going to uh, sorry 140 so that gives us a lot more storage capacity Okay, stuff needs repairing. And also, as it's raining, you'll notice her hygiene has gone down to zero, so it's a free shower. So early game as well, if you've got people that need cleaning and it's raining outside, get them outside. It is free, okay, it's a free shower. Right, we need two bits of wool to make a piece of rope, so we'll get that done, because we need to make another trap, because we need more rabbits, of course. We, in fact, there's one there, look at him. He's just sitting there going, come on, build a trap. Build a trap for me so that I can voluntarily break my neck so you can eat some food. They seem very compliant, the rabbits. It's like they are all descendants of pets, and it's why they're staying around humans so much and are so easy to catch. Okay, again, maintenance is always an important thing. Continuously check the integrity of your items uh, and make sure that you are building stuff uh, and repairing stuff as well because the last thing you want is uh, things falling to pieces. Um, you, a lot of the items you can rebuild if they collapse, but some of them you can't. So as an example, the recycler, um, I found out in one of my live streams, if you've been watching it after a thunderstorm where it caught fire and but turned into burnt out garbage, you couldn't do anything with it. So I had to actually go back to an earlier save um, to recover that item. So we need some cement to expand our shelter. We've got plenty of sand, we've got plenty of limestone. So let's get a bag of cement built and then we can expand our shelter a bit more. Gives us ourselves a bit more room and a bit more space to add stuff. Uh, the guys have searched the location, so let's see what there is. Nothing found, thought that might be the case. We searched it fairly recently anyway. So another little tip and piece of advice for you guys is every two days that pass one item will respawn in a location so if you leave a location for 30 days there will be 15 items that will have spawned in that location for you to go back and loot again so just remember that if you've visited a location and you've cleaned it out you need to give it a fairly decent amount of time before you can go back and try again okay so crafting that trap get it down and then we'll skip forward a bit more again in time as well because we might as well get that room finished by skipping forwards there we go look at that magic the room is finished and everyone's and we've got some plants ready we've harvested some broccoli so we've now got some broccoli that's fantastic we're at 148 water okay so again very good uh, that's because our capacity now is 50 plus 50 plus uh, the 330s so uh, 30 or 25, no I think it's 30, so 90 plus 100, so our capacity is now 190 because the second set of barrels are completed. Uh, the reason it was 140 before was because those barrels hadn't been finished. So we do have a decent amount of water at the moment, we've got 146, uh, that's not terrible, um, but again for the whole duration of summer you will get rain, it's just fairly infrequent, and it depends on how lucky you are as well 
because it is random. You may have a summer where you get almost no rain if the game is being fairly brutal to you. Uh, then you might get a summer that has lots of summer showers uh, and your water is not an issue. So for that, I wish you all luck on the random generation of weather for your seasons. So I hope for your first year that you have rain aplenty. Now the stuff there that we were looking at was the weights. We've got the punch bag as well. Now though, this early stuff is for, again, is your strength and dexterity uh, that you need to improve. And you certainly need to improve it for combat as the game progresses. And you want to get your characters statted up as much as possible. Okay, so we're just fixing stuff now. Um, Cassie needs to go and sleep. Okay, let's set up another expedition. Okay, so Alistair and George can go out. Uh, there's a bag. And let's have a look what we're going to use for trade items. Well, equip a weapon anyway. Might as well equip a weapon to George. Uh, yeah, no, we can't give him a knife. We can't give either of them a knife yet. So we need to level up um, those. Uh, again, looking for what we can trade. You want to find some high value items that you've got quite a lot of uh, that you can basically give away uh, as trade items. That's only worth 10. Bones are worth two. Ooh, whoop de doo So it looks like we'll take our anti-radiation tablets again and let's have a go for, okay, medical. So we'll take our medical equipment and there we go. So we've got potentially something to trade with. Uh, again, it's early on in the game. Later on, you'll be taking piles of transistors and glass and everything else. Uh, so that bag, I think, is broken. It is, so we can't use it. We could take it to sell it, uh, even in its broken state, but we've only got the one bag. But that's fine, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so we last visited that location three days ago, but we left stuff behind. We've never been, but it's workable. Uh, so we don't really want to go there. We'll go to the water tank as well. Uh, where are we ration wise? We're using four. No, actually let's redo our, our route. Let's go up and actually explore the edge a little bit maybe, so that we can uncover some more of the map. There we go, and just to say, the routes are entirely decidable by yourselves. Uh, do what you want, but we're going right to the edge there to uncover a bit more of the uh, terrain that is around us. And again, you can see what is uh, happy and what is dangerous. So we're obviously going through another faction's territory is a bit on the dangerous side, especially early game. But if you haven't met the factions, your first encounter is always going to be, hi, who are you? Uh, can we work with you and walk away the next time you have an encounter always use flee Okay, so if you encounter another faction early game Always use flee the reason I say that is because if it fails and you then have to fight the person uh, Try and subdue them. Uh, that's aim at the head and melee uh, one successful should daze two successful should subdue and what that will do is you'll be able to take their stuff, you won't get a negative penalty, and uh, you can walk away. Even if you kill them, you will not get a negative impact on your faction standing, because you tried to go away, and they chased you. So, in the mechanics of the game, it recognises the fact that you were trying to be good, and it will not penalise you if you accidentally kill the person, or deliberately kill the person. So we're looking at the capacity, durability, and efficiency upgrades here uh, for our devices. The same for the weather vane. It's stuff that you want to do. So our oxygen filter, we can upgrade the resistance, but it's going to use basically all of our wool. So we'll leave that for now. Uh, it's just a nice thing to look at so that you guys can see. And on my live streams, where we're on live stream 22, I think, each one of those two hours, so you're looking at 44 hours into the game, uh, we've upgraded everything to at least level two, some of the things up to level three. So that gives you an idea of the speed at which you need to actually upgrade all of your equipment and devices within your shelter. Okay, well, she's got a skill point, what's it in? Okay, it's charisma, so what do we want to give up? Let's have a look. Welcoming, motivator, so 25% increased crafting speed, let's give her that. And look at that, suddenly the items uh, get made quicker because she has that skill point. Oh, and we've unlocked Speedy Engineer one star as well, so that speeds things up even more. 
is always good when we get that. Let's get rid of our notifications. That's a right click and they will disappear. 99% grown, so nearly there, and we've got no seeds. But oh, in fact, no, there we go, they're ready to harvest, just as I was saying it. Okay, out and harvest. Now, something else you can do for power saving, uh, see the floodlights on the top of the shelter at night? You can go ahead and disable those, and that will save you electricity. Now, the burn rate of your fuel isn't gonna change. So, early, early game, um, I mean, obviously we're down to eight fuel, and we haven't built a wind turbine yet. But that, what's important is also finding the battery uh, bank blueprint. If you haven't found the battery bank blueprint, uh, keep searching. Uh, so search all the new locations you find and you'll get a chance of uh, locating it. Right, we've got someone at the door, someone who wants to join the faction. That's a straight up no. We've already got our first extra person and as you go into the first summer, you certainly do not want lots of bodies in your shelter because uh, your water will run out. I think we've roughly got um, 10 or so days of spring left uh, before we move into summer. Um, right, we can increase the durability and resistance now of the air filter. So durability means you don't have to repair it quite so often. And resist resistance, uh, now that we've stacked double, this is just showing an error that used to happen. You can't do this anymore. Um, so there we go, we go for one upgrade and then it goes and does the second upgrade and when we actually go and look here we go let's go over okay go and we've already got that so harvest the trap uh, i thought i showed you here but clearly not so one of those upgrades didn't work but it did use the resources okay we've now got an encounter with the old clan so another faction okay so who are you Deep respect for the past, we like to preserve as much of it as possible. Our leader Duncan McCroy is the longest surviving faction leader. Work with you, we're not easily won over. If you're willing to graft hard, you might earn the boss's respect. Make radio contact to arrange things and walk away. There we go, done. So as I said, those first faction encounters, you're not gonna have any problem with. It's who are you, can we work with you, walk away. Now if you encounter them again, it's gonna be a potential combat situation. Uh, so tier one, uh, that was just highlighting we were nearly there uh, to unlocking stuff. A qualified chef, increased chance of creating an excellent quality dish of food, so we only need to cook one more dish. Gather more when harvesting food crops, one more harvest will do that. Uh, three more animal skinnings. Uh, skill builder can craft tier three recipes from the drafting table. We only need to upgrade one more thing. So we need to upgrade something and we'll see what it is that we can upgrade. Okay, let's uh, craft items. What do we need at the moment? We need some cogs, so we'll get those built. I've skipped forwards, and the reason we're making those cogs is to upgrade uh, the water purifier inside the shelter. It's a nice cheap upgrade. So off she goes. Let's speed that item up again a little bit. There we go, one, two three there we go oh we've got another uh, note we've searched there we go okay so again take the items that we want there's three fuel there we want to take all of that okay we've now got uh, a weight distribution problem so let's get rid of the logs take another fuel get rid of one of those take another fuel there we go the cement sand and limestone there which is all worth taking and also three star water so that reservoir tank is definitely gonna be worth a revisit because when you empty a water bottle into your water supply in your shelter, you are left with the plastic. So that is three star plastic that you're left with, which is hard to come by. I will tell you that now. Okay, so we've got another location to search. Although we haven't got enough rations to do it. We've only got two out of five and that's what all the red stuff is. So what we can do is delete the waypoints and then head straight home. There we go. So there's not too much of the journey uh, that's gonna be rationless, and that's why you always have to plan ahead with your rations. We can now craft tier two recipes from uh, the drafting table. So magic stuff, craft object, we now have tier two. Awesome stuff. So first thing to do, fan straight away into our food. 
And the reason for that is we're looking to make our first freezer. So pedestal fan, there it will be. Uh, now the floodlights that are outside, I'm gonna disable those now as I was talking about earlier. And again, we can have a look at anything else we want to disable. Uh, one of those being the water purifier. It's highly unneeded because we haven't got any black rain at the moment, so get that disabled as well. And that reduces our power consumption significantly. Okay, right, we will skip forwards again. Uh, it's built, we'll now set the thermostat and we will set it to minus two or zero. Uh, you need it zero or below and your food will not deteriorate. So there we go, it's dropping down rapidly now the temperature because of that fan which is what we want to see because then our food degradation rate, you can see the percentage is going down as the temperature drops. So only 19% and it's gonna still keep going down. And as soon as you hit zero degrees Celsius, it will not degrade at all. So you will need a second fan. One is not going to be enough. Uh, for some reason you need two. And what that does is it keeps it 100% temperature stable at minus two degrees Celsius or minus one, whatever you decide to set it at. But the food degradation is now down to 12% and still going down, so 11, and it will keep going down. So we will skip a little bit further forwards now. Okay, crafting items. So what do we need to make? Uh, soap, we can't at the moment, we've got no honey. We can make another bag, tier two, school bag. Oh yes, four leather, four nylon. And also the bedroll, that is important as well. So that reduces the stat wear of your guys when they're out in the wasteland. Oh, he needs a shower and the toilet. And then he needs to go and eat. So let's get him to eat something. There we go, eat meat. Okay, there's another rabbit up there to be harvested. Good, and there's another rabbit running around as well. So, good stuff. Okay, we've got another skill, intelligence. So what do we give him? Let's have a look at that. Tactician, whilst conscious, all party members deal 5% more damage. Uh, thick skinned, so it doesn't take insults. 10% increased chance to escape from combat. Emergency tourniquet, focused, increased accuracy of all melee, medical training. Again, the choice is yours. Have a look through all the skills, see which one you think you want to give, and then give them that skill point. It can be a bit of a difficult decision sometimes, of course, but let's go with uh, distraction tactics. There we go. And again, skip forwards again. So we're going to rearrange the shelter now and what we'll do is we'll move stuff around where we can and one of the things we're going to want to do at some point is start thinking about making a bedroom area uh, that has uh, that we can move fans and heaters into and out of uh, so that we can keep it warm in the uh, winter and cool in the summer. And you'll find as your shelter progresses, you'll start designing and uh, allocating different areas of your shelter for different tasks, um, if you wanna be tidy and everything else, which I have a tendency that I want to do. Uh, there we go, that water buck can go there. And the other one we can go and put over there. There we go, everything looking fairly okay. Confirm. I mean, at this early stage, you know, your organization doesn't matter that much, I'll be honest. So again, crafting objects, having a look, see what we can do. Okay, we need to make some cement. So let's make a couple of cement and confirm. Again, it's all about that expansion. So you've got the space to build stuff. Uh, tier two, just having a look at everything. Again, I mean, you've got improved stab vest there as well and improved bulletproof vest. Uh, you'll find stab proof vests are much better early on and in fact sometimes into the late game as well than bulletproof because most people that you come across don't tend to have guns uh, some do um, but the frequency i would say is mostly melee weapons okay we want to get a wind turbine built as well uh, let's recycle some more stuff there we go that's going to get us a load of wood perfect 
there's not really anything else there oh yeah the two of those yep we'll get the plastic back from that and also the recycling machine will give you both rubber and plastic when you recycle one of those fuel drums okay again skip forwards let's set up another expedition so Alistair and George next seem to have hovered the mouse over for an extended period of time here there we go next okay get everything sorted out so bags weapons usual stuff we've got an extra one of those no we haven't probably want to put that back again okay so again it's deciding on what trade goods to take with you So having a look around, anything that's of uh, relatively high value uh, that you can use for trading for items and take that along with you. Okay, there we go. And now we decide our route and where we want to go. So it's just a case of we've got 34 rations. Let's uh, maybe go to the edge this time so that we can uncover some more map. We'll go and search that location because we've never been there and then come back. So that will uncover a bit more of the map. It's gonna use eight rations. So there we go, next, and off they go. And that is uh, getting close to the end of episode four, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I do hope you're enjoying the series and uh, finding benefit in all the tips and tricks that I'm giving you as we play along. Uh, that broccoli, not far away from being ready. So let's skip forwards. We've just unlocked one star cleaning that uh, just comes from cleaning the shelter and we've now got enough stuff for the level two cooking device okay so that's a camping stove is level two level three believe it or not is a microwave uh, personally i found that a little odd that tier three cooking is from a microwave but hey hey it is what it is i'd have thought like a proper oven or something like that would have been a, a good one uh, but i suppose there's no gas supply um and you could be using the energy from the generator for an electric oven but then it would have needed power um yeah as i said is what it is so we've now unlocked tier two cooking which is uh, fantastic because as i said that gives us the ability to create meat stews uh, not immediately of course but we do have at the moment three potatoes so that will allow us to make some but as you can see with our one fan at the moment our room is holding zero degrees celsius and our food degradation is zero. So encounter with a new order, investigate. Records show you have a pretty high reputation. So we have found the faction that we can trade with. Fantastic, what can we get? Okay, there's a three-star bucket. Uh, there's some three-star wood. There's two uh, three-star rope. Uh, that is worth 105. We don't have enough to be able to trade. So get rid of the bucket get rid of the rope we have to take the low value stuff for now rather than the high value stuff so we've got 40 in trade value we decide what to trade and trade but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls that is it for today's video until next time i'm know it all gaming don't forget to like comment and subscribe